Ah, welcome back to Peeville. We are on episode number seven with me. Oh, I can't drive. New James. That's my name. Me. Oh, I can't drive. New James. I'm going to change it. You know, I do just fine until I hit the record button and then all of a sudden everything goes to crap. So, I don't know. I just don't know. Where are we going to put these? We're going to put these straw bells right over here. Because we're going to save them. We're going to save them and be ready for some cows. That's what we're going to do. This episode is all about getting ready for cows. <clears throat> so we're going to make a group of silage bells, a group of hay bells. We have our straw bells. And we're good to go. We will be good to go. There we go. One load down. We got to finish picking up the rest of our bales here. Um, I will run them to the sale place real quick because we don't need them. And we're also going to look at all of our leased equipment, see what we actually need, what we don't, what we're going to use, etc. Because we get hit with about $8,000 worth of leasing costs a night. That's expensive. So we're going to go ahead and do that and see where we're at. But I'm going to continue picking up these straw bales. You don't want to see that and me run into everything. And I will see you in just a little bit whenever we grab our... See, look, I cannot drive. Oh, well, anyways, I will see you in just a little bit whenever I go to make some either silage or hay. And I will see you soon. Bye for now. All right, so we're getting ready to make some... Hay bells. So we got we've just gotta run through this field, cut it all. We're just dropping it right now, and then we'll have to ted it. And we will also have to wind row it. But this is the only one of our fields that is ready to cut. So I had to buy a new field. So we could make our silage bells for our cows. And so I will have to show you that in just a minute. But I just want to go ahead and get this going so that we can have some hay bales. And maybe, just maybe, get some cows by the end of today. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? So, who knows? I think we've gotten our money's worth out of this machine though. I'm pretty happy we have it. It makes life just a little bit easier. Because whenever I'm not trying to make hay bales, I can just leave it in a swath and it eliminates one of the processes for me. Which I'm always happy to eliminate some of the work. Who wouldn't be? Let's be honest. Who wouldn't be happy to eliminate some of their work? Oh, I do not mind grass work at all. I actually really enjoy it, the baling and the tedding. Doesn't bother me one bit. So tell me guys, do you guys enjoy baling? It's one of my favorite things to do on here. 
My least favorite thing is plowing though, honestly. It just seems so monotonous. Like it never ends. So any of you guys out there actually live or or own a farm? I used to live on one when I was a child. I used to do all kinds of the farm work and I left the help window on. That's why it's off. Like what is off? Anyways. So this is what I actually used to do, not with this thing. I used to use a case swather. Uh, do you even know what a swather is? And then each summer I'd go on like a grain harvest because it was quite profitable as a kid to go on those It's always good times Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this field. Actually, no, we'll finish it together. And then we'll go cut the new field. We will go cut the new field together as soon as this one's done. Our new field, I do not plan on leaving it as a grass field. We're going to switch it over to an arable field. So we can get a few more of the crops coming in. I think we have enough grass fields. Albeit they are kind of small, but that's okay. We will make do with them. Yes, we will. Uh, I've got to check on our animals here soon too see what our wool and our eggs are looking like Hopefully we got a lot of eggs. Eggs seems to be the way to go on FS19. On FS17 it was sheep and wool you could make a small fortune off of in no time. And on FS19 it is the eggs. And all for all you guys that are actually watching, if you are interested in giving me a hand in an upcoming episode, will you go ahead and reach out to me? Um, I'm gonna need at least one person's help for you know something that I'm gonna do I'm gonna say in like two or three episodes time so if you're interested please hit me up and let me know if not that's okay too only one more to go oh, this is our last trip over here then we're gonna have to run to the other one oh 
I'm going to turn on the help menu one more time. All right. Turn it back off. Oh, I forgot this little bit. Good thing I seen that. Good thing I seen that. Get this big guy all folded up. And head over to our new field. Go before the gate gets us. We have got to get on cultivating that as well. Get it ready for some new crop put in it. Look, our soybeans are coming along quite nicely. Hopefully we can harvest them soon. This makes me sad. We might actually just sell this field after we cut it and get what we need off of it. Because I don't necessarily know if I want to keep it. I might go after that one field that makes me sad. It's right by our, our other shop. Why not? Oh, that thing turned quick. My bad. Good thing it's a lease. Tear it up. At least I don't gotta fix it. If I tear it up too much, I just turn it back in and lease something else. There's our soybean field. There's the entrance to the soybean field. And here's the entrance to our new field. Yes, that's right. We bought field number 38. Why that's going down. Go ahead and close this back up. I guess get on top of my tractor. Jump in it. Turn it on. Set it down. Make sure it's dropping in a nice swath. It is. Boom. There we go. Well, I didn't do a very good job there. So looks like I'm going to have to bring the windrow over here too. Windrow all this up into a good line. But I'm going to go ahead and complete this. And I will see you guys after I'm done. Bye for now.
right, I have a worker getting the filled wind road, the last one. So, you may ask, why do I have the skid steer all loaded up with both attachments? Well, let me show you why. I went out and got us a front loader. It's a Kramer. It's pretty awesome. I love these things. It's got all-wheel steering. Can handle a little bit more. And we only need two attachments. Because this pallet fork right here we can take it, customize it into bail spikes. So, and it can hold a little bit more and pull around trailers. Say for instance, I don't want this trailer right here. Well, as soon as I get this off, sorry. Well, that'll work too. So again, say for instance, I don't want this trailer right here because it's too hard for me to load it here. I'll just pull the Kramer up. Attach it. I mean, it squats it pretty good, but look, here we go. The Kramer's pulling it out here, so this way we can load it. Boom, there we go. What a great deal. Drop it off and commence what we're doing. Hold on, let's let me put some straps on these before I forget. All right, we don't want to strap that one down yet. There we go. So, moving on up. I like the ease of use with this thing. It's almost like a telehandler. But hey, I'm happy with it. Look at that. It's almost time for us to go sell some wool. Alright, helper B has completed their task. We're going to have to go look at that in just a second. But we have to go take the little skid steer to go sell it. Recoup some of our money. So we'll just leave this right here. And we're going to run over and check on worker B. Oh. As soon as I round, round the right corner, I'll see you right over there. Bye for now. <clears throat> So while we have the worker going on that on the wind rowing, I thought we could jump in this Massey Ferguson of ours, hook up to the baler, and go make some silage bills. Sounds like a plan to me. How about you guys? I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. I really do like this baler wrapper combo. It does make a lot of sense. I'm hoping by the end of day today we might be able to get a few few animals, a few cows. We have animals, but I just want some cows. And look at this. Look at that. Our beautiful soybeans are ready to harvest. That means we're gonna have to get on that too. Yes. Yes, we will. There we go. There it is. I'm hoping we get quite a bit, but I remain skeptical because nothing's been done to the field. It needs lime. It needed to be plowed. It needed just about a little bit of everything. So, let's go and see how much we get off of it. Anything past a full trailer load, we're just going to sell.
Looks like all of our tractors need a little bit of maintenance here. So that's what we're going to have to do here soon. We're just going to have to go through one by one and get them all taken care of. I do kind of beat the living snot out of them. I only have two of them, so they're constantly going. But what do you do? You got to got to use what you have so and this is what I have so I use it and there we go we're off Back it up, back it up, back back it up. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go close the gate. I guess it was 50% fertilized. Oh, just that little bit. No, the whole thing was 50% fertilized. That's a little better than what I thought. So pleasantly surprised here. Whoa, totally missed that. Dump that, watch it roll. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I'll have to bring the Kramer over here to help get things out of the the trees if necessary. Drop that one. There we go. Here they all go rolling. Alright, so I am going to continue this. And when I get done, we'll, we'll look at how many bells got made. Alright guys, I will see you soon. Bye for now. And so, as you can see, I've gotten a good start on the baling of the hay bales here. We've already done the whole outer, the whole headland, sorry. And now, I'm just going over the middle. And it is already 6 o'clock at night. So for us, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to keep going, however... I will have all these bells picked up and put away by the time I see you again. We will start off by harvesting the fields and making a little money. Also let's hope that we can go ahead and buy some cows in our next episode because my boss, Golf Cart Jockey, is not happy with us at the moment. He says we should already had, had the cows a little while ago. I was wondering why we didn't have them. It's hard to answer because I honestly don't know. But hey, it's all good. All is okay. So, again, that's the end of the episode. If you have liked it, will you go ahead and hit that like button? If you're not a subscriber, would you please do that as well? I'd appreciate it. And as always, this is New James here telling you, do what you love and love what you do. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.